Hello, Divergence Traders. How you doing today? Hope you're all good and well. I just got up from a little nap there. Got to go and see the foot doctor today. Got a big black bloody toenail. Got to get her looked at because it's still not healing up either along with my leg. Oh well. I hope I don't lose my leg. I think I'll just do the euthanasia if they say they got to cut off my legs. I'll do the euthanasia here in Canada where they kill you. You pay them 25 grand and they kill you. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Anyway, um, I don't see no divergence here today. No, 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 no divergence. Sorry, I just took a sip of coffee, but uh, there was no news today. Like, so this is what happens, you know. They tricked everybody up here to go long, and then they took it down here. Um, this is the NASDAQ, but there's no divergence here. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it just sucks. The only thing we had is this. Higher close. Sell it, and it goes. Here's another one down here. Oh, but that one wouldn't qualify. It wasn't close enough to the five when it happened. Aha. So then it was this one. Higher close. Sell it. Down it goes to here. There's the two trades right there. Sell there from the higher close. And sell there from the higher close. Okay, let's move on now to the... S and the P, the US 500. Sorry about that. I just took another swig of coffee. I shouldn't shoot videos and drink coffee. No. So we have lower lows. See that? Yeah, that was a good trade right into the beginning here. Just like that, this is the S and the P. And you would have got long right in here. Stop loss right here at the swing low. Uh, that's seven points stop. And it went up 11 and a half points. It was a winner, chicken dinner, baby. It was a winner. But there was no divergence up here. To sell it down here, I mean. There was divergence to buy it up right here okay let's look at the dow jones yeah look at this did the same kind of upside down v reversal <laughs> yeah whatever i think i told you that i've been lately um Looking at the 15 minute and the one hour. And if any one of them disagree, disagree, <laughs> disagrees with, uh, you know, the five minute, like the five minute is how do you say it's my, um, what do you call that? It's your, it's your, the chart you do the entry from. Okay. But. I've said to myself, I got to try and go by what is the 15 bullish? Is the one hour bullish? Is one bullish, the other one bearish? You see what I mean? And this happens. This happened today. It, it was bullish, both of them. And then one was bearish and then one was still bullish. And then, and then they, they collapsed it down. And then way down here, both finally agree now. See? And that's a mistake. You don't. You don't sell low and buy high. You sell high and buy low. So it just ended up that at each point in time of this area that since we opened in the stock market, the three did not agree. So I never did a trade. That's my new uh, motto now. And 
it worked for me the other day and then finally it lined up i did the trade and it was a winner 25 points and today um, I'm, I'm really trying i have two screens here i got my main five minute right here that i trade off of but the 15 minute and the one hour need to agree no agree no no trade entry I'm just tired of trying to jump in trades and, and it never works out when you when things don't look right or feel right and you got this you got this feeling inside like oh shit I don't think I should do this I'm probably going to lose That's when you shouldn't touch the goddamn trigger and go home go for a walk do whatever don't take chance gambling trades okay You'll see, it'll pay off for you. But anyway, um, I don't know if these were trades. I don't think so. I'm looking at the 15 now. Yeah, I was saying you could jump in here, but I don't know. I do not know. So that's what I say about this. If 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 you just wanted to jump in on a crossover and a higher close, sell it down it goes. Higher close, sell it down it goes, and higher sell down it goes. Got three. We got three of those. Okay, three of those right there. Higher close, sell it down it goes. Higher close, sell it down it goes, and one more. See, I wouldn't have done any of those trades because they did not line up. Everything did not line up when it was up here to sell it. So there you have it. That's my two, my biggest filters right now is the M15 and the one hour. If one or two of them disagree, no trade, no trade. Move on, no trade. Today I didn't do no trade because it didn't line up, didn't line up properly. First it was both bullish or all three of them bullish. You know, I was trading the ES. I was looking at the ES today. And then it disagreed, one disagreed, and then both disagreed. So there was no trade for me the way I'm trying to trade it. Trying to explain to you how to do it, but you need two screens. That's for sure. You need two screens, okay? With different time frames on it, and you check it out. Okay, let's move on now with pound dollar. Here we go. Oh, what do we have? There's a trade here, I guess, but. But I'm not I'm not looking at this like I do like when I trade like the ES. Okay, this is currency. So I'm not confirming with the M15 and the and the one hour. I'm just looking at this right here. So we have a high and a higher high. Remember I told you about those highs and higher highs? Right there. So you would have got short right here. With no upper higher time frame confirmation okay this is just on the five minute we're looking at oh we're looking at so if you go to got short <clears throat> right there never went back to the stop like always and the most you could have got out of it was 10 pips okay that's the trade euro probably same kind of crap Huh. How much is this? Yeah, it's good for 10 pips. Divergence right here. Okay. Low and lower low. And right here. Okay. You would have got in, could have made 10 pips. And it had a couple lower close, buy it up, it goes. Lower close, buy it up, it goes. Okay. And then now that it's flipped, it's higher close, sell it, down it goes. Higher close, sell it, down it goes. Do you see how amazing that is? I show you this day in and day out. 
where you look for when the, when the market is moving up, you'll anticipate that it's going to go up. So what do you need? You need a retracement and a close. So this right here, if you didn't get in right down here, okay, long, with this divergence right here, lower lows, then you wait for a pullback. The pullback is right here. It closed lower. You would have bought here. Up it goes. Closed lower. Again, bought here, and up it goes up here. Okay, so let's look at this one. Yeah, it's 10 pips, see? Exactly. Not that you would have got 10 pips, but you would have got something in that move. You just had to be quick and make a decision and, and close the trade. That's what a lot, where a lot of people don't. They fail to make money. They don't. They, they hold on thinking, oh, it's going to go now. It's going to go. And it doesn't. And it turns around and goes down. Like I said before, in many videos ago, months ago, 20% of the time, it, it follows in a trend. 80% of the time, it changes direction and turns corners and goes the other way to get you. Okay? All right. Let's look at pound yen now. Here's pound yen. Oh, yeah. There's some divergence up here in pound yen from one. This is a 15 minute. From one uh, session to the other, this is this gray area is the UK session. This here is the New, New York session. Okay. So it hasn't even got you in the trade, really. If it did, you would have sold somewhere in here and it went down and. You'd think once price came but down here, right to here again, you'd go, hey, ah, I got to take the profit. You got to make a decision. Got to close the trade and take the money. That's that trade. Euro yen. Yeah, the same uh, kind of deal right here. I don't know, right here. A long divergence here. Huh. This was a long one, but it was divergence. We got positive, negative, positive. And the entry is right here, right now. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Okay, let's move on now to uh, oil, crude oil. Oh. Don't want to delete the Osma. Okay. We would have got in here. This is oil, ladies and gentlemen. Oil. You would have got short right there off 85 bucks a barrel. Bounced off of 85 bucks. It danced on the $85 le level. And then they crashed it down. And how much did it go? Well, there's 80 points right there. With a whole bunch of higher close, sell it down, it goes. Higher close, sell it down, it goes. Higher close, sell it down, it goes. How many was there of those? There was one, two, three of them. That was good. So there was a couple good trades there, as you can see. Now let's check out gold, the last instrument of today. Okay. Wow, look at that. Where's the divergence, right? There's one up here, that's for sure. Let's draw them all in. There's a lot of them on, uh, wow. Lots of them on gold today. <laughs> Fook, you must be rich. You must be rich, my friend. Yes. Double top right there. Boom. And we have a low and a lower low. Boom. Yes, indeed. Long in there. Went up 173 points to the top. And then uh, short here, if you're, you know, crazy enough to do it. 
because it would be counter trend at this point because it went all this way up. But it worked out. It worked out, man. It worked out. You know? So if you would have sold it here, it would have went down 52 points and your stop was 37. It would have hit target one. Okay, and then we have divergence down here. Okay. And you would have got long in here. That went up 100 points. And that's it. And right now, it's it's created another, like, higher highs. Yeah, I guess you could call it higher highs. Right there. Let's make this bigger so you can see. Okay. And right here, higher highs. You know, I told you to look for higher highs at the high of a move. And lower lows at the bottom of a move right here. See? So you would have got short right in here. Now it's doing a little retracement. You're, you're waiting for it to come back down here somewhere. Maybe down to here or a little lower. Don't know. But anyway, that's the video for today. I want to thank you for coming out to watch the show. I want to thank you for uh, listening and... If you're going to trade this afternoon, trade safe. Don't tr over trade. Uh, once again, this is Jason Sweezy, the Divergence Trader. Good luck and good trading.